lovely people and i thank you for tuning in to intangible motivations youtube channel for the daily motivation the inspiration the good vibes just that good energy just to keep help you keep going throughout their day-to-day -day activities guys so today's message today's topic i wanted to do something totally different as you can see i am in the millennial falcon so i would like to say welcome Thank you for tuning in and today's message, today's topic is about mind power. And <clears throat> I wanted to talk about mind power because we all have it. Now, if I had a superpower, it would have to be telekinesis. The ability to move things with your minds, guys, that to me is amazing. And my favorite X-Men, I don't know if you're not an X-Men fan, if you are, if you're not, whatever. My favorite X-Men is Jean Grey. You guys know how power, powerful she really was, all the power that she possessed. She was the most powerful X-Men, in my opinion. The way that she was able to move things with her mind, the way she can get inside people, people's head. I mean, she was the most powerful, in my opinion. Now, also, and also in the, in the light of the thing that we got going on and stuff. And plus, I don't know if uh, the other Jedis are listening, but I want to talk about and highlight the Jedis. Look how powerful the Jedi, the Force, they can have a powerful effect on the weak-minded. They can get other people to do what they wanted them to do with that Force. Just, hey, do this for me. And all of a sudden it happens, right? So the Jedis also have a very, very powerful mind trick that they can do as well. So, and you have a powerful mind as well. Now, you may not be able to move things with your mind or manipulate people or move people or do whatever, but you are indeed powerful. Now, I believe that we all have the ability and the power to manifest or move things in our lives to get where we want to go in our lives. And I believe we can face our fears and become the best versions of ourselves. You see... Our mind is like a sponge. It can be influenced by certain triggers. A trigger would be, so let's say you're smelling cookies. That could remind you, trigger a memory of you with your grandmother as a kid. You know, we can change our thoughts and emotions based on the environment that we are around. We can make the changes we need to make people in order to live our greatest potential. The only problem is we just got to remove that limited belief that we have of ourselves. The limited belief, you know, you don't feel that you can do it. You think that you're not good enough. So how do we get that limited belief in ourselves? Well, there's that little thing called the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind. I will point guys to different areas to reflect, I guess, to show you what I mean about subconscious versus conscious mind. <clears throat> At any rate... I found this article about the subconscious mind because I love researching and learning more about the subconscious mind and how to unlock its power. So I read this. I found this, this article on Noam to Goliath titled The Subconscious Mind and How to Unlock Its Power. And they were talking about how the subconscious mind is, is a data bank and it stores everything that's not in your conscious mind. It stores your beliefs, your previous experiences, your memories, your skills, man, basically everything that you have seen, done, and been through. It, it, it is also your, your guidance system and it constantly monitors information coming in and out and, and all this. And it would communicate to your conscious mind and, and, and have you to operate accordingly. You know, the subconscious mind is a very powerful uh, secondary system that runs everything in your life. It's a, you know, the subconscious mind could also help you in guiding you to either finding an opportunity or missing that opportunity based on your fears or things, you've, things that you have been through. So it just depends on how your subconscious mind is wired because your subconscious mind is, is very, very powerful. It's a very, very, the most powerful weapon that you have in your possession, people. I can tell you that right now because I'm telling you it's, it's, it can be the difference in you spotting or missing an opportunity that you want, something that you want, missing somebody, um, making that connection, social networking, whatever. It can, it can also uh, affect 
your life. It, 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 if you want to live a, a positive life, you want to live a, a negative life, however you feel, you know, you have that power to control that subconscious. I mean, you can't control the things that go on in your life, but you have the power, your mind, because if those situations go on, yes, those traumatic situations can um, destroy you or halt you or stop you from going forward to try to process, to try to go do something you want to do that's major or make a major contribution. So your mind is very, very powerful. The subconscious is very, very powerful because it can store everything and it can stop you from making the life, big, major life changes that you need to make in this, in this, in this world. So let's say, for instance, you fell down as a kid and you thought you were being cool, maybe you were running, doing track, playing basketball, and you're running for the open open shot, whatever the case, and you fell down, everybody in the crowd was laughing, you were embarrassed, you, you were so much pain, but you remember that you were so embarrassed, everybody laughed. So that memory is stored in your subconscious. You remember all the, the embarrassment, you remember the pain, you remember, wow, man, I thought I was being cool, I thought I was doing, and that just, you remember the hurt, so that can that incident alone can stop you from from making changes or trying to be a leader or trying to do new things because you're you're afraid of of that pain. It was so traumatic that it can stop you from moving forward with your life. <clears throat> now, just talking about the idea and the power of our minds that if we see something, if you have an idea in your head, if it's something that you that you want to do, I believe that you can do it. I believe that you can make it your a reality. You can manifest your idea into reality just like many people have done. Henry Ford, the Wright brothers, those guys said, man, I want to design something to fly in the sky. And, and it was the vision that was given to them and their mind and they made it become a reality. Although people may have laughed, they said, hey man, you sound stupid. I don't believe in that. But they believed in that that goal, they believed in their dream, and they knew that they could do it. So they had the power of their own mind, that mind power control to say, look, man, no matter what people are saying, I am going to go do this because I believe in this. So whatever you're saying, the negativity or saying I can't do it, I'm going to show you all that's blocked out by that mind power. See, if you have an idea, people are going to laugh. They're going to tell you it's stupid. It may be the people that are close to you that may affect you. So let's say if you want to be a singer as a kid and your mother may have said, you sound horrible, that's stored in your subconscious. And now moving forward, you're afraid to sing in front of any, anybody because you remember that, that memory from your mother telling you that somebody was so close to you that hurt you. So that can stop you. So that's, I mean, that's what I mean. People are going to laugh, but you cannot. You have to believe in yourself, believe in your goal, believe in your in your value, your self-worth, right? So no matter what anybody believes, Henry Ford, the Wright brothers, Marie Callender, there's a lot of people, no matter what, they, they had that idea. Nobody could stop them. They proceeded and moved forward to manifest that idea into reality. We can all manifest our dreams if we just believe, believe in ourselves, believe in our goals and, and in our minds. You have to believe in your mind. You can't have that limited belief thinking, man, I don't think I can do it. So how do you get that limited belief? And, and how can you power up that mind? How can you rewire your mind? How can you reprogram your mind to think positive? Well, guess what? I have a solution that worked for me. It's a simple technique. It's nothing major, but I know it worked for me. It's proof that it works. When you wake up in the morning, the first 20 minutes is the most critical. You say this. 20 times in the mirror when you wake up in the morning, I promise you to change your life. You would say this, I can do anything I put my mind to if I'm willing to pay the price for success. Say that 20 times in the mirror when you first wake up. I can do anything I put my mind to if I'm willing to pay the price for success. Can't tell me that's not powerful. Say it with heart and conviction when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, is the most critical. The first 20 minutes is the most critical. It can set your tone for the day. If you, if you, if you want to think positive, wake up. Your first 20 minutes, your mind is looking, your subconscious is looking for something to latch on to. It's looking for something to grab. So when you grab your phone, which we all do, grab it and look up something inspirational, something motivational, something that's going to get you out of bed to, to make you happy and excited about life. 
You know, that is, it's simple. So when you first get up, the first 20 minutes is critical. It can set your tone for the day, whether you're going to be happy, whether you're going to be sad, whatever. Point is, guys, you control your day. You control your life. So control your mind. You can control anything. If you want to quit smoking in the day, you can do it. If you want to design something, if you want to be a robot, you can do it just like the Wright brothers did. You see, for me, mind power is amazing when you believe in yourself. And I didn't believe in myself for a long time. I was 275, and I want to tell you guys how I know just the mind power when you control your mind, you can control your destiny, is, you know, I was 275, I was always in the gym, but I didn't have a really a good diet, and I was just overweight, so I was feeling bad and just had these, you know, not a lot of health issues, but, but small, thank God. Um, but I needed to do better for my daughters, for my babies. So I needed to lose weight. I kept having headaches. It was just so bad. Long story short, I didn't want to do it because I kept making excuses and finding the desserts and snacks that I like. I, oh, I like fries. I like Doritos. And I found all the reasons to try to stay there. And my mind stayed with it. I, I, I My subconscious settled because I settled. So what I'm saying is that you got to control your mind and say, you know what? I want to be better. I want to feel better. I don't want to be a liability on my family. Let me stand up and take control of my life. So I took control of my mind. I start to rewire my mind the way that I think. And like I said, I used that simple technique that helped me every morning. I did it every, every morning. You can't do it once a day or hey, I did it one week or I did it one day on and off. You got to do it every day, guys. Consistency. You have to do it. If not, it's not going to work. So when you got to control, make this strong. We can be strong from the gym, but we need to also be mentally strong up here as well. Because there's an African proverb that I like that says, if there's no enemy within, within, no enemy on the outside can harm you. So if you're okay and you love yourself up here and you're strong and mentally strong right here, can't nobody else stop you. Just like the Wright brothers. They laughed at them, they laughed at them, they laughed at them, but you know what? Nobody could stop them at all because no enemy was within. So guys, this is my message. I hope you found something out of this. I hope you enjoyed the Star Wars theme. Um, I hope this brought something home and made you focus or pay attention to me a little bit more this time. I hope my message was a little better. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you like, please share, please comment. Please, guys, if you found value, help others. Let's let's each one teach one. Knowledge is power, guys. I love you, each and every one of you. I don't have to know you to help you. Race, religion, sexual preference, any unique difference that you may have, guys, that makes you you, that makes you special, does not play a factor with me, does not play a factor with tangible motivation, guys. Until next time, the force is inside you. Go towards your goals and realize how powerful you are. And may the force be with you.